and welcome back to Gapy's Grow Room. Today is the day we need to start getting these peppers repotted. But before we get started with that, I wanted to show you how they're looking and how the germination went. So for the most part, it went pretty well. Um, we did have some that did not come up. So this one here was the Hungarian wax. So these three cells had those in there and none of those came up. And that was all the seeds I had of those, so I couldn't start more of those. So that was all that didn't come up in this tray. And then this tray with the New Mexican varieties, there's actually three varieties that did not come up at all. So if we look at our sheet here, I kept track of which ones came up and which ones didn't. So this one here was the Zapotec jalapeno, so we didn't have any of those come up. These three cells were the guajillo, none of those came up. And then the San Juan Sili Pueblo also didn't come up. I was able to get some more seeds of the guajillo from Batman. So I did start some more of those in um, that are in the germination shelf down below. So hopefully we'll get some of those to come up. But I did have extra seeds of all three of these varieties. So here are the extra seeds that I had of those three varieties that didn't germinate. And I put them in paper towels. This is the method I normally use for growing peppers. And I don't know if you could see, but all of these peppers turn kind of purple, blue, kind of brownish color. So these are all bad seeds. So that's what happens when you have bad seeds. Um, I don't think these were too old, so I'm not sure why they're bad, but um, they definitely aren't gonna germinate. So. I don't feel too bad. There's nothing I, I did wrong. Um, it just happens sometimes. You get a batch of bad seeds. So those three are not going to be in the garden this year. All right, we're ready to get our peppers repotted. I'm not going to do all of them tonight. I'm going to just do the ones that are most in need of repotting. So I'm going to be transferring them into these large six cell trays and this should be good enough for them for probably a month they'll be able to go in here and then i'll transfer them into the four inch containers all right for the potting mix i'm going to be using pro mix potting soil and i'm going to be adding a little bit of all-purpose fertilizer this one is by ivy organics and i've already pre-moistened the soil you want to moisten your potting mix just enough that you can hear kind of a squishy noise. You kind of hear that squishy noise and no water is dripping out of there. If you see water dripping out when you squeeze it, that is too wet and you should just add some more potting mix to dry it out a little bit. And the instructions on this one says to use one tablespoon per gallon of potting mix. So I'm just going to add, this is probably a little bit more than a gallon. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a little handful on top here and then I'll mix it in. And also when you're repotting pepper plants, you wanna make sure that you use warm water. You do not wanna use cold water because that will shock the roots and that could kill your plants. So make sure you use warm um, water, maybe around 80 degrees. So now we're gonna go ahead and fill up some trays here. I've got some plant tags here, so we're gonna be adding these plant tags when we get these potted up into their new homes. And I reuse my plant tags. I always use pencil when I write on the plant tags and that seems to last all season. If you use marker, a lot of times that marker will fade and you won't be able to see what is on there. So I found pencil works really well and you can always erase them at the end of the season and reuse the tags. So that's what I'm gonna be doing here. I think we'll start with the Padron peppers here. So we've got, these guys are pretty tall. Ideally, you wanna repot these before they start getting their primary leaves. And you can see some of these are already getting some little primary leaves coming out. So at this point, their roots are probably pretty well established and they might be a little bit difficult to separate. You can squeeze the bottom of the tray and gently Pull those out so you can see here the root structure on those. So they're a little bit 
intertwined, but they're not, they don't look too bad. So we're gonna get our potting mix here and we're just gonna try and separate these so we don't make a mess. So just gently tease them to loosen the roots and just give it a little bit of a shake. And then you can gently pull apart. If they're not coming out really easily, then just tease the soil a little bit more to loosen it up some more and just keep pulling until eventually you'll be able to separate them without breaking any roots. So we have some pretty good roots on both of these, so they should be nice and strong. So we're gonna go ahead and just make a hole with your finger in the potting mix. And you can, you don't have to pot it up at the soil line, you can actually pot it up deeper and it will grow new roots along the stem of the plant. And this is also the case with tomatoes. So if you have really leggy seedlings of tomatoes and peppers, just bury them a little bit deeper when you do the repotting. So we're just gonna tap that down and we can add a little bit more soil if we need to. And that's all there is to it. We're gonna go ahead and do this one too. And we have to remember to add our label here. So this is Padrone. So I'm really only worried about the ones that have two seedlings in a cell. So on the Padrone peppers, we had two seedlings in this cell and this cell, but this cell only has one seedling. So I'm just gonna leave that one in there for now because I don't have time to go through and plant all of these. So I'm just gonna worry about the ones that have two seedlings. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant these two next. And we're just gonna do the same thing. We're gonna just gently tease the soil loose and pull gently apart. And it's still not pulling apart easily, so we're just gonna tease it some more. And there we go. They came apart nice and easy. So we're gonna plant these right next to the other ones. We're gonna add another tag. So notice I only did one tag for each of these. So if I do one tag, that means both of these are the same variety, and this tag means both of those are the same variety. So I'm not gonna add a tag to every single cell. Once I pot those up into four inch containers, then I'll add some tags to each variety. All right, so we've got two empty cells here. So we'll take a look and see what our next pepper is that has two sprouts. So this one here is the sandia. So there's only one sprout in this cell, so I'm gonna leave that one alone. And then these two cells have two each. So I'm just gonna take and squeeze the bottom and gently pull on the stems and they come right out. All right, so we got one tray done. So I'm gonna go ahead and repot some more of these, but that is pretty much all you need to do. Now on this tray, I've got a few that have really tiny seedlings. Some of them just germinated, so I'm not gonna do anything with those at this point. I just wanna concentrate on the really big ones that are starting to get their, their primary leaves, like these guys here. And then I'll save the rest for another day. All right, we're finally done getting all of these potted up. We ended up with 48 seedlings that were in these trays with two seedlings. So all the ones that only had one seedling I left in this cell for now. I'll probably get these repotted maybe later this week or next week. But I did move one of the, so one, two, three. So these four were in the other tray so I, to make more room, I decided to just move those over to this tray and I put a label on each one of those so I know what they are. This is all we're gonna do for tonight. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get these moved back under the lights and we should be good to go. So our pepper seedlings should be good in these containers for probably about a month. We'll just keep an eye on them and see when they'll be ready to up pot. 
And some things that you can do to tell when they need to be repotted is if they dry out really fast, if you're watering them every day, that's one sign that they need to be potted up into a bigger container. You can also remove them from the container and just kind of inspect their roots. And if the pot is just full of roots and they don't really have room to expand, that's another um, sign that it's time to move them up to a bigger pot. And I'm gonna be moving mine up into these four inch containers. I'm trying these out for the first time this year with my onions as well as my peppers. So I got these from the Greenhouse Mega Store. They're a little bit taller than your normal four inch containers. So I think these will be perfect for growing onions and, and peppers as well. All right, so I think that's it for now. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you again soon. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.